I'm gonna unbox and review this new Wi-Fi 7 mesh system by ASUS. This is two individual one packs that I will be connecting together. So I'll go ahead and unbox one of these. I will do my full on speed test range just like I always do using my following Wi-Fi 7 devices. I also happen to have the iPhone 16 Pro Max which is another Wi-Fi 7 device. However, this one can't go as fast as the other two. I've showed that in a separate video. It has nothing to do with the router. It just has to do with basically the hardware on the iPhone. We got the BT-8, looks very nice, very similar to the BT-10. A lot of vents, a lot of airflow, which I really love. We got a bunch of ports right here. So we got a USB 3.0 port. We got a 2.5 gigabit port right here for the LAN. And we got two other ones for the gigabit port for LAN. And we got a 2.5 gigabit port for the WAN. WAN is wide area network. LAN is local area network. Uh, WAN is basically for the internet, essentially. We got the power port right there. We got the power on and off. And on the bottom, I am hiding some info, but we got the reset button right here, and we got the WPS button. We got a little LED in the front as well. We got a bunch of manuals, VIP notices, quick start guides, and everything. These things are generally pretty easy to set up using the ASUS router app. We got a Cat5 v Ethernet cable, which can do 2.5 gigabit speeds at these short distances. In fact, it could even go more than that because I've done a separate video on this. And this is the power supply. It is 100 to 240 volts, and the output is 36 watts. So. Fast forward about three weeks, I've been running this as my main mesh system and so far so good. So no drops, nothing like that. Super easy to set up using the ASUS router app, which we'll get into momentarily. So I had a chance to do all the speed test range tests. I have all those numbers right here. Again, I tested with the following Wi-Fi 7 devices. And uh, yeah, let's just jump straight in with the internet speed test. So as you guys already know, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speeds. For me, that would be five gigabits per second upload and download. However, in the case of the BT-8, I'm actually being capped to 2.5 gigabit speeds because the fastest port that this thing can handle is 2.5 gigabit speeds. So when I do a speed test, however, because it's Wi-Fi 7 and has a fast speed rating, I actually get really, really fast numbers on Wi-Fi. I pretty much got just about the same Wi-Fi numbers on Ethernet that I did on Wi-Fi 7, so very impressive Wi-Fi 7 numbers. Now, to find the true performance of this mesh system, I need to do a local speed test server. So I make my computer to the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer. And in the case of wired and wireless backhaul, I go from Wi-Fi device to the secondary one, which then drives to the primary one, and then goes to the server, which is basically my computer. And I've done a whole video on this explaining this whole process. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave the links down below. I'll also leave the product links down below as well. Again, if you guys are interested. So looking at the numbers, so with a single router configuration, we pretty much got as fast as it could go. I feel like if the ports were faster, I could actually go faster than this, but very, very solid speeds. And then wired backhaul was pretty much the same thing because this thing has two 2.5 gigabit ports. That's fantastic because I could go in at 2.5 and come out at 2.5. So there's no loss there in terms of uh, up to 2.5 gigabit speeds, there's no loss. And then wireless backhaul, this is the main thing that with Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems, a question I get asked sometimes is, is it worth getting a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system if I don't have too many Wi-Fi 7 devices or if I don't have any Wi-Fi 7 devices? You actually get really, really good wireless backhaul speed. So if even if you don't have Wi-Fi 7 devices, you can literally use a non, I mean, this is a Wi-Fi 7 device, but you could pretend it's not. You could literally use a regular, like a Wi-Fi 5 or a Wi-Fi 6 device, and you'll still get really good speeds on the secondary one. And in fact, if you actually connect an Ethernet connected device to the secondary one that's on wireless backhaul, you're going to get some amazing speeds. I've actually just done a video on this where I actually demo these speeds and it's very, very impressive. Looking at the wireless backhaul numbers, we got some solid numbers, almost 1.8 down and 1.2 up. So very, very good numbers. Okay, so next we get to range test. Now range will vary drastically by location. Essentially, the more obstructions there are, typically the less range you're gonna get. So if you're in between floors, thick walls, a lot of other routers around, all of that stuff can negatively impact your range. So at 20 feet away inside my place, got some really good numbers. I mean, there's definitely a drop, but not too much of a drop. At 50 feet, this is when I'm outside my place, and this is when you start to notice the drop, especially in the upload section, but still getting some very, very solid numbers. And at 100 feet, this is literally me across the street, and I'm actually still getting some pretty good download speeds, and obviously the upload speed is not quite keeping up as much, but still usable nonetheless. So 
overall still did pretty good on the range test. Next we get the setup and configuration which is available both on iOS and on Android and they give you a ton of options, more options than any other brand that I test. And in fact, if you go to their browser interface, which is asusrata.com, or you could type in the default gateway, that also gives you even more options on top. So there's a lot of customization with Asus, and they also include a lot of stuff in the price that you don't need to get an extra subscription, like they offer parental controls, including the price, and they offer some AI protection as well, including the price, which is fantastic. They also have a pretty good warranty at three-year limited warranty, uh, from what I remember. So... Now, in terms of the Asus router app, you basically set it up, you get your own main Wi-Fi name. Now, here's the thing uh, that I wanted to note. So, with, with these newer Asus Wi-Fi 7 systems, what I like to do is I make a separate Wi-Fi 7 network as my main network, and I personally just enable the 6 gigahertz band. That uh, allows me to connect very, very quickly. Uh, that gives me basically the best speeds that I test with. Sometimes the five and the six gigahertz connected also do really, really well. But generally speaking, I like to keep it just at the six gigahertz, which is how I tested all this stuff. And then for all my main stuff, I just make another network and I just have the 2.4 and the five gigahertz on for those and all most of my main stuff connect to that. And then I can also make a guest network and when guests come over, they connect to that network, which is isolated from my network. Um, so basically they can't access my NAS drives and things like that. And now the cool thing about Asus is that <clears throat> their Wi-Fi names, their SSIDs are pretty much the best as of now. Uh, and what do I mean by that? You can literally make a kid's Wi-Fi network where you can actually set a time that the kids can actually, that, that Wi-Fi name, that SSID will be available. So it's, it's kind of like a general, like I can have all my stuff anything connecting to it, not have access to the internet during certain times instead of um, putting specific parental controls on each device, which you can also do that as well. Uh, then you can make a separate VPN network, a VPN SSID that literally if I connect to that SSID, VPN's already set up on it. Asus it supports AI Mesh, so it, they've had AI Mesh for a while, so you, I could literally get this one, hook it up to a, another Asus router that supports AI Mesh, and you, there's literally so many options they also have obviously have vpn support and everything like that um just general vpn support as well so they have a ton of options and you can even go to the browser interface and use that as well you can enable mlo and not have mlo on multi-link operation there's literally so many customizations that you could do we could talk about that for like a few hours just on that so with all that said is it worth getting this? Why or why not? Well, as always, it depends on your specific situation. So I would say this is very, very good for internet speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits. If you're planning on using wired or wireless backhaul, because in both cases, we got some solid speeds out of this thing. And um, I mean, this thing's solid. You should definitely check out my other video where I actually do a test and I'm showing you guys connecting my Mac Mini, my older Mac Mini with the M2 chip to this thing and I do a speed test. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing when you see that stuff. So overall, fantastic router, lots of options, fast wired or wireless, and it's overall just a solid, solid system, just like the Asus BT, uh, BT-10. Um, which is one of my favorite ones actually so and in my case because my internet speeds are five gigs I actually prefer uh, the BT-10 because it can actually handle faster speeds. So there it is if you guys enjoyed this video smash that subscribe button I have way more router videos coming up and um, Yep, catch you guys in the next one